हे फ्रेंड आई एम बैक विथ अ न्यू पिरामिड पैटर्न प्रॉब्लम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट अ फुल पिरामिड पैटर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट अ फुल पिरामिड प्रॉब्लम पैटर्न इन जावा तो फॉर दिस वी नीड टू क्रिएट वन क्लास विद द नेम ऑफ फुल पिरामिड पैटर्न एंड ऑल्सो सेलेक्ट द पब्लिक स्टडी वर्ल्ड में एंड चेक बॉक्स and main method is created by id which help which help the developer and now we create one method for writing our logic to create full pyramid problem so go with creating the problem method private void and the method name is a full create full pyramid pattern first we discuss about the static data after this we discuss about the dynamic data so in this we create for two for variable for rows and k for i explain you why i use this key variables and now we create a loops where we write the logic first is a for creating the first loop is creating the row for us it should be less than or equal to rows and here we use the pre increment for same and always in slice k is equal to 0 for same okay now we create a one loop all inside loop another for loop for is creating the space space should be less than rows minus i and it also use the pre increment here and now here we use a sys dot out it is for a shortcut of creating the system dot out print line we need to remove ln because we need to use space in a single line after this we use while loop here because we in slice k k should be not equal to 2 into i minus 1 okay in this we use again sys dot out for printing the star with space and after this use Pre increment for k. Okay, now go outside the loop and use print line because after all the work, we need to shift control in the new line. Now we create one constructor for creating the object and call our method. And now run our program. i first loop for this loop we are using for rows second loop for space int space for using the space third loop for print the star and the final star dot which is the line number 15 is for shifting the control in a new line here for a static data now simply do one change for dynamic data which control paste same method because here we use the one oops concept for polymorphism is overloading method overloading and now simply call this with the parameter here we pass the parameter 5 for check both are returning the same as per our acceptation and use one this dot out for testing the record simply we are using the this sign and now run this and i hope both output is the same okay again the same for loop first for loop is a for creating the row second for loop is for creating the space third 
for writing the logic how to print the star if you have any suggestion or any comment regarding to our video please feel free to comment on my video if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel please share my video to anyone who try to or who prepare itself for an interview thank you